it is that time of month already. It's time for Zanini Box unboxing. Oh yes, Zanini Box, the monthly mystery box of pins. That's right, custom made pins, there is your door. And not just pins, they now do a card subscription as well, which is pretty epic. If you haven't seen the cards, go check out my previous Zanini pins. Um, I'll leave a link in the description down below. The new cards are epic, but I'm super excited to get into this month. Let's see what we got. What's up dudes and dudettes, all you awesome people. Welcome to the Geeky Heaven channel. I am Glenn, the Geeky Heaven, here with June's unboxing of Zanini Box. Oh, super excited for this. Now, I don't pay for this box. This is sent to me by Zanini for review purposes. It's a pretty epic box. You can pick them up. They do different pin subscription boxes, so you can pick up basic. Free I figured the best way to show you the different plans is to take you to the website. So let me transition. So here is the Zanini website. Now they have eight different plans. Uh, they're fairly simple though, so it's not too complicated. They have this brand new plan, which is plan cards, which is just the cards alone. So for $5.99 a month, you receive nine exclusive cards. That's comics, movies, games, and TV shows. And then they have the pin subscriptions where you have a basic plan where you get free pins every month for $9.99. They have a standard plan where you get four pins for $11.99 a month. Then they have the plan premium where you receive five pins, that's the full amount of pins you can receive, for $13.99 a month. Pretty good price. Uh, also they have a plan premium and metal backs. So these little metal backs here are like the rubberized grommets but they're metal. They're really, really smart. I do like them. Uh, me personally, the way I display mine, I have mine on, on, on cardboard or cork boards. So I don't really need the metal pins, but it's only a dollar more. So $14.99, you get some nice backings for them as well. And one of the new plans they have now is a plan ultimates. So you'll receive five pins and nine Zanini cards every month for $19.99. It's only an extra $4 on top of what you pay for the normal one to get into those nine cards. Definitely worth it. You'll see the video of the cards and down here these last two these are the international shipping so if you are like me living in the UK what they've done is to save some money for international shipping they do just a pin collection only for international and that is $24.99 and but it's a bi-monthly so that would they'll charge that every two months and every two months you'll receive instead of the five pins every month you will receive 10 pins plus the metal backs and that's bi-monthly it saves on shipping it's a pretty good deal it is to be honest with you but then they also have this new deal now, the Plan International Ultimates, which is the cards and the pins. It's still bi-monthly, so $36.99 every two months, and you'll receive 10 pins and 18 cards every two months. What a package that will be. <laughs> oh, fantastic. But back to the main video. Waffling on. Let me crack this bag open. I'm super excited to see what we got. Oh, looks like we've got the cards again. I've put the cheat sheet down in front of me. And what I'll do is, I will do these in the correct order. Right, okay. So this is telling you, so last month, like I said, I did the unboxing of the cards. Uh, they, and that was the June 2020 cards they sent me. So this month, they've taken the opportunity to send me a Spider-Man pack card. So I can show you them as well. Ooh. I'm interested in seeing this now, because I there was a Spider-Man card in the last month there was. So they're going to do separate packs as well, so you can buy a pack of cards, which will be specific, obviously Spider-Man specific for this one. So Spider-Man pack wave one is going to be uh, $5.99, which covers number two to number 10, and Spider-Man single cards will be 99 cents. So any cards that stock in the website will be 99 cents. I'm really looking forward to getting to them cards and seeing what we got because I really like them, the last ones. But let's do the pins first. Like I said, the pins, they come in three, four, or five pins. So the basic plan, you get three pins. These are the pins you would have got. This is the, everyone gets the basic pins. So 
they come in these cellophane packs. I'll take them out of cellophane and show you the thins. So, pin number one, which you get with the basic plan, is Terminator T800. Oh, that's fantastic. I love this pin. So get you a closer look at it. The Terminator T800. I really like this pin. I like. I think it's, I think it's just the image of Terminator, just the exoskeleton, with the skin on top of it. It looks really, really good. Oh, I love these so much. A little bit of a dent in my card there. A bit of a shame because as you can see, I, I keep all my cards. The backings is how I display my pins, but it is really nice. Uh, as you see, these just come with a little rubberized grommet on the back to do. Uh, but you can get premium plans where you get some metal grommets to go on the back if you want to upgrade them. Me personally, I'm quite happy because I, I just display them. I don't wear them on clothing or anything. Ah. I'll be back. Pretty awesome pin. That's the first pin. Then the second pin you'll get in the basic plan is from, I'm so happy you're doing this, Dungeons and & Dragons, and it's Dungeon Master. Oh, yeah. Dungeons & Dragons Dungeon Master. Now... I have only ever seen episode one of the actual cartoon itself. I'm a huge Dungeons and Dragons fan. I play Dungeons and Dragons quite often. Um, I do know this character. I know who he is from episode one and from bits that I've seen. But the actual cartoon itself, Dungeons and Dragons, um, it was just a little bit before my time, really. I never really got into it. But I love the pin because it's a Dungeons and Dragons pin. I wish I'd do like a, just classic Dungeons and Dragons like from the game itself, from the actual... But the game, so they had like, like have characters and artwork and that, that'd be brilliant. Or some Dungeons Dragons cards, that would be fantastic. Maybe some stats on the back and things. Right. Let's see what the next pin is. Amazing. The third pin you'll get in the basic plan, because you get three pins, is Master Chief from Halo. Master Chief from Halo. Do you know what? I really like this pin. When I first took it out, I thought it looked a little bit stretched, the image itself. But there's just a lot of detail going to it. I'm really, really impressed with that. And I really, really like this. Never played a lot of Halo, but this makes me want to get into it. <laughs> uh, I'm in the middle of setting up uh, a gaming setup so I can do some online gaming. Maybe I will give uh, Halo a go. Who knows? Nice. And moving on then to, that's the basic plan. If you get the standard plan, you get all three of those pins, plus you'll receive Batman. Batman. <laughs> I like this. It's more, it's a classical image of looking Batman. Um, really like it. I would like to see how many different Batmans you can do, because there's so many different variants of Batman there is. I'm just trying to think if this is the first Batman pin I've seen actually or not. I'm looking in my in the background now as well, and I can't really see a Batman pin. This must be the first Batman pin, which is surprising. Considering I've done a lot of this, um, it fits well with the other uh, with the Superman and Wonder Woman pins that, that, that Zini have done as well. Um, I really like the one for the comic book classic image. Next pin. Oh yeah, and then. The premium plan, where you receive five pins, you receive all four of those pins, plus this fifth pin. Definitely worth going for it, price-wise. 100%. And it's a Star Wars pin, because Star Wars is the main theme running at the moment. It's Yoda. Hmm. Impressed with this pin, I am. <laughs> that was a terrible Yoda impression. I don't even know why I tried. I really, really like this. It's it's such a good representation of Yoda. It looks just like him. I absolutely love this pin. The Star Wars pins are phenomenal. I absolutely love them all. I'm probably going to rearrange all my pins and have all the Star Wars pins together and all the DC together and things like that. At the moment, I've got them set up randomly as a background, which I quite like, but I'm getting more and more pins and my background's going to grow and grow. So I'm thinking about organizing them together. I don't know. 
let's see what else we got. Fantastic pins. Oh, I don't know which of those pins is my favorite. I'm going to follow my gut on this one and say my favorite pin actually is the Terminator T800. I really like that design. It just looks really good. That's for it pin this month. But, like I say, that's not all. I also have a purple envelope. This is the cards. Let me crack this open. Show you these. These are fantastic. So, if you've seen my previous video, you'll know what these cards look like. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. So, it's every single Spider-Man cover is what we're doing. For example, this one, number two. Oh, here we go. Check these cards out. So this is The Amazing Spider-Man issue number two. I really like how thick these cards are. They're really, really good stock. They're thicker than the cards that you, the backings use for the pins. They're thicker than even like a Magic the Gathering style card. They're more like, a, I'd say like a credit card thickness they are. Um, check the back of this out. Amazing Spider-Man, issue number two. Publisher, Marvel Comics. Published May 10th, 1963. Writer Stan Lee, cover artist Steve Ditko. Now, this is an entire set that they're sending out, which is Spider-Man set. So I'm going to make an assumption that the back of these are pretty much going to be all the same, apart from the, the comic number and the publish date. The rest of the information should be the same. They've got this white bar here, which has been left in case you ever bump into someone to do with Marvel or to a Spider-Man and you have these with you or if you go into a comic con convention and you know there's going to be someone there related to this comic or this image you can bring this with you and get them to sign it I love that idea the QR codes as well every single one of these cards have a QR code and that takes you to a product that is relevant to the card so I haven't tested them out yet but I'm going to make the assumption that this will take us to possibly somewhere that sells this comic or a Spider-Man relatable item. Really intrigued to, to, to test them out. I love that they've gone with the comic book covers. Absolutely fantastic. Great new Spider-Man thrillers. Great new supervillains featuring the Vulture. And... <laughs> oh, fantastic. Let's go check out the next card, though. The next card, The Amazing Spider-Man. And this is issue number three. Oh, wow. Dr. Octopus. I like the front. Of, I'm just absolutely amazed with these. I think they're fantastic. The way they've done these cards. Um, like the rear of this one, like I say, not much difference. Number three is the only different there. And the published date is July. So that's the only difference. And the QR code will take you to a different product. Possibly a comic. Not too sure. Oh. let's check out my next one issue number four what i'll do is i'll go through these pretty quickly now so i don't end up wasting <laughs> well, not wasting i don't want to drag the video out just talking about these cards but it's issues two to ten that i sent in this collection and this one is the sandman oh yeah like i say the back of these they're all the same so i won't show you the back of the rest of the cards i will just quickly go through all the front so you can see what they're like this one is Sandman. Oh, issue five. Doctor Doom. So, a bit of Fantastic Four crossover here as well. Issue six. Half man, half reptile. The lizard will take over all of Earth unless Spider Man alone can stop him. <laughs> issue seven. The Vultures return. Nice. I really like the Vulture, I do. Um, I liked him in the Spider-Man movies, the latest ones. I should probably read some Spider-Man comics. I've never read a Spider-Man comic. It's really strange. Issue 8. Spider-Man tackles the Human Torch. Ooh, really interesting to see this one. Uh, Spider-Man vs. the Living Brain. And Peter Parker's fight with Flash Thompson. Hmm. Issue number nine. Ooh, Electro. I 
don't think I know Electro. I can clearly see he's supposed to be an electric type guy, but I do not know this guy. Oh, a book length comic colossal proving again that this is indeed the Marvel Age of Comics. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, one more left. Let's see what it is. Issue 10. Never has anyone fought such merciless foes as the Enforcers. I am so impressed with all of these cards. I love the attention to detail. I love the fact that it looks just like a comic book. It's got all the little details on there. Even the by the comic code authority up there. I absolutely love these. They're fantastic. Uh, so this one was March 10, 1964. All the rest of the information has been the same in all of them, except for the QR codes. Let's go back to the main cam. And here they are all together in this cover he sent them in for me in. Absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love the fact that he chose the comic book covers to do this. And I really like the cards themselves. They're a nice, thick card. I'm really, really, really impressed with that, I am. Fantastic idea to be doing separate things as well. So I'm gonna have to look back at, the, at all, all the ones he sent for June. And I'm wondering if he's going to do separate ones for all of them. Oh, I think. I love the cards more than the pins. I mean, the pins are fantastic. I love them. But these cards are amazing. And I love keeping them in these binder folders as well. To go through them. I will. I still haven't tested it out yet. But I will test out the QR code in these as well. So I can uh, scan it and see where it goes to. Maybe I will do that in a separate video. Where I scan through all of them. And see where they go. That could be fun. Um, let me know what you think. Along with normal YouTube stuff. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think down below. Would you like to see a video where I scan all the QR codes and see where, where they take us to? Uh, or do you want to, want it to be a surprise for you guys? Do you want to scan it yourself at home and find out what it takes you to? I'm going to end it here, guys. Also, let me know what your favourite pin is and your favourite card. But I'm going to end it here. I'm the Geeky Even. As always, much love. Until next time. Stay awesome.